Hello guys, welcome back. Because of my magical powers as Vodka on, the camera fixed itself. For now, for now, I went to turn it on without thinking, and because usually I'm having to fix it. And the first time I attempted this, it just came on. I did have to tap it once, but no, it seems pretty stable, even if it does look a little fuzzy. A little ugh. I tried a ton of video games for you today, just nothing was working. I called my friend to tell her I probably couldn't go with her this week, and she goes, Oh, I was going to call you, which you know means they weren't going to call you. They have changed their plans. So she was hoping I forget, is what I think she was hoping for. And I, we were actually both okay, so we might sort of kind of go somewhere in the future, but we don't know what day or what time. So, yeah. So, yeah, maybe. Probably not. Uh, you know. Anyhow. That happened, and Odin was trying to cozy up to me today, and I said, get away from me, old man, what have you done around here lately? I said, you know, I checked on the Walmart order, yeah, I said, you know delayed shipping means exactly one thing from FedEx, they broke my shit again, I said, how much have they broken, and how much of the order will I get in? I knew it was a bad idea to put cooking oil in the oil order because you remember how fucking careful they used to be packing your groceries like they would tape bottles and then they would wrap it in plastic and then they would seal the plastic well when i opened my order the other week i just got loose shampoo bottles in there which by some miracle of they had to be a miracle by the god of shipping i'm uh, gonna thank hermes on this one it, it none of it opened none of it burst open there wasn't shampoo all over my food and i'm like this is getting really sloppy the way they they throw stuff just throw it into boxes anymore they're getting really bad um, they're at Amazon level of bad. You know how Amazon just throws your shit in a box now and just vaguely throws some packing in there? Yeah, it, it's that bad now. Remember when you used to first get your groceries? And this is important. Remember how much fucking care they took? And they would fucking wrap cans of beans in paper? Remember that shit? Like, each can would be wrapped in paper. Like, who the hell had this fucking time on their hands? Apparently the people who work at Walmart. No, your shit's just thrown in a box, right? And a relationship with the gods can be like that. Like, when you're first working with them, you get these boxes, and they are filled with samples, and your cans are neatly wrapped, <laughs> and it's it's actually over here. Kill, right? It's, it's too much care. It's like everything's neatly wrapped and packaged, and it's put together... Like, it was put together especially for you, and it's beautiful, right? And then after a while, maybe they're not wrapping every single thing. Maybe they wrap two of the three cans, but they still wrap two cans, and the one can was still pretty much put in, in there. And by the end of the relationship, here's your shit, bitch. It's in a box. What more do you want? And it, everything's dented the fuck up, and, you know, something broke, and a bag split open, and you're just looking at it, and you're like, I don't think this relationship's working anymore. And that's when you know to get out. It's like when you are doing all the work and you know you're doing all the absolute work, that's when you get out. Um, Odin and I have actually had troubles off and on, and he just gets to a point where, frankly, his ass gets lazy and he ain't doing shit for you. But he's he's expecting you to do shit for him, and he was kind of cozying up to me today. And I'm like, no, fuck you, old man. What's the last time you did something? And Lucky was laughing at him. I said, hey, when's the last time you did something? I go, yay! I said, where's my fucking order, man? So, you know. And, you know, with the camera, too. The camera kind of has fixed itself. Whether that is Loki trying to cozy up to me and still be in my good graces, or the camera fixed itself, we shall never know. But they've been very nervous and on alert. Because I said, you know what? I keep rebuilding this, this Thor... Thorhaven farm and I keep making this the farm for Thor because he keeps insisting he needs it I was like we don't have that close a relationship anymore and he can blame me not being close to the old man and he can blame whatever else he wants but I'm like you know really Odin and I will spend time together but the, having the close relationship seems to be over for us um, if that means Thor is no longer interested in having a relationship, I'm tearing that down and I'm putting up an exotic dance or temple is what I'm putting up. I go, yeah, back there. And, I, you know, I, I don't, I, I told them, I said, a lot of your other temples might go too. I said, I've done that for years and you all seem to be frankly getting lazy. And I said, if I think I have something better and more exciting to build in VR, your temple's going. 
And they all just kind of looked at me and I heard all these little squeaks. And I, I, I said, you know, I'm just, you know, this is why I, I enjoyed making the video because sometimes the partnership just, it dissolves. You've gone from getting everything ca carefully packaged and even getting like little samples and goodies in your box to just a bunch of banged up shit in a box and half of it's broken. And, you know, you're, you're, you're to the point where you're like, I, I'm not respected anymore. I'm not even getting the modicum of respect. I'm barely getting it. And you like stuff's missing too. Um, yeah, Walmart's really turned to shit for, you know, for shipping. And when you're getting that kind of relationship, that kind of quality in the relationship for the guys, like they're only partially coming through, or they're not even attempting to help you, and you're doing all the work. It's like the little red hen. Remember remember that story from your childhood where she's like, who's going to help me plant this? Nobody would help. Went through the whole harvest cycle. Who's going to help me grind the, you know, the corn and everything? Nobody would help. Said, who will help me bake the bread? And nobody would help. And then their lazy scrub asses show up and they all want free bread. And she's like, no, fuck you bitches. So she ate the bread herself. <laughs> It's it's like Samuel L. Jackson is channeled on this channel. Anyhow, I, I go back. I think you say fuck more than he does. Um, <laughs> anyhow, that's what it is. Sometimes your gods just become these lazy scrubs and you realize you're maintaining altars and you're lighting incense and you, you're fucking doing everything for them. And they ain't doing shit. Now, if they truly care about you and those warm affections are there, every so often they just need a kick in the ass. And they need to be told, hey, you either fucking, you know, start pulling your weight around here like you used to, honey. Or you get the fuck out because there's over 3,000 gods and goddesses that we can think of the number off the top of our head. There's infinite gods and goddesses, blisters, demons, angels, saints, whatever spirit you want to work with. Ancestors that you can go to and they know it. So they, they know... That you can replace them and replace them easily. And this doesn't mean that we don't love our gods or that we can't be loyal or you can't have a relationship go through the tough times. But you know when it's over. You know when they ain't going to do shit for you. And, you know, I don't know who got the VR going. Maybe just me being, you know, sarcastic to the right person got the VR. I don't know who fixed the camera. Maybe me banging it off of shit and it finally somehow sorted itself out for now, for today. But, you know, when it doesn't feel like you're getting a divine assist, when it doesn't feel like they're interested in the relationship other outside of being worshipped or just goofing off with you, then you have to sit down and talk about it. At least I know Loki, when he gets the fear of there being no Loki anything, <laughs> starts to shape up and that probably is why the camera is working. But for Odin, he's just fucking lazy sometimes, man. He, he's got so many of those women that consider themselves his thralls uh, and he's got so many people that he they just worship him and if you read their writing it's and we've all been guilty of it unfortunately because the old man can dazzle people um it's insulting they've lost all sense of self-worth and self-respect and they're they're writing about like these fictions about you know cringing before these gods and bowing before the almighty all father I'm like, he can fucking kiss my ass is what he can do. He don't do shit around here. I ain't bowing down in front of him. Fuck you. So, <laughs> I have a god. <laughs> He's ordinary as fuck. I've often wondered, you know, like they say in Voodoo, when you get your head reading, it may not even be your actual head. Your head might be hiding for your safety because there's this big thing in Voodoo that... People can go work with your head, meaning the Loa closest to you, and Loa are like little children. They can be pawed off with shiny objects, and your own spiritual protector can be bought off and told to hurt you and be like, yeah, fuck them. So, you know, <laughs> and it means they're ambivalent, which is why Voodoo isn't for a lot of people. Now, some people will say, no, they would never do that. You can never buy them off. But some people are like, yeah, they can be bought off with candy and shiny trinkets. So, you know, watch your back, man. So I've often wondered if my true God isn't doing the same thing and he, she, they are just out there like, that's my child, you do you, honey. Tell people what, what like it is and tell people shit they don't want to hear. Um, so we're just having a good one. I don't think I'll order pizza or anything. I mean, it's only fucking Tuesday. I try to ho hold that to at least Thursday. So, you know, 
We'll do something. I don't know. I'm feeling lazy. I don't want to cook dinner. I'm lazy and whiny. But I think we can all agree that second and last check is never fucking coming. And that's that's what also put me on alert for Odin. Odin and Loki will both spend your money to the last fucking penny. You, I love them, but you gotta keep a uh, watch on those two because they'll spend all your money and then when you can't pay the bills, they'll be like, I don't know, maybe you should have been more careful with your money, but I sure love all the stuff you got me. And it's like, that's why we have no money, you greedy bitch. So you, have, you do have to be careful. Um, and I know some people find that irreverent, but it's true, they'll spend your last fucking dime. Even other people that work with Odin will be like, yeah, he'll spend your last fucking dime on shit for Odin. That Odin doesn't want anyone else to touch or look at it, which he will share with you, and then he'll regret, and he'll, he'll ask you to get him more. And say so he can be a greedy bastard sometimes. I fucking love him, but he's too much used to these people that throw themselves down. And would open a vein if only he asked. Please don't do that. Um, you know, and Loki gets used to, a little too used to, the, that rock star status at getting all the shit he wants because he's Loki. And sometimes you gotta flip him like that yeah, in the little fox nose and go, look, you're getting out of hand. And he'll just smile at you, but he, he actually likes structure. Believe it or not, tricksters sometimes like to be brought up short and told fucking no. Sometimes they throw a tantrum, to be clear, but sometimes they're like, oh, you told me no. And you're like, yeah, because you're being a bitch and you're throwing a tantrum and you're not going to get it. And, you know, that's why sometimes I've done stuff that seems mean, like throw away some of their shit. Sometimes they're throwing a tantrum and the inner parent and you will come out and you'll be like, okay, you're not only not getting what you want, but you see the stuff you have and I will take one thing and I will throw it out. And people go, no, don't do that to the gods. Sometimes it's the only way to circumvent a tantrum. They're throwing a tantrum. You go see this thing? Garbage. And usually you don't have to take much from them. And usually I'm kind. I pick something I know that eventually I'm going to replace anyways. They just don't fucking know that. But if they keep up the shit and they keep up the cycle of tantrums, then if it's shit I can't replace, I take it and I disassemble the altar. I put it away and I say, that's no longer yours. That's mine. That's even worse because they know it exists, but it's no longer theirs. It's yours. That drives them crazy. Sometimes you gotta do it, guys. Sometimes you gotta paddle their little ass, for lack of a better word. They will all get out of line. They will all get out of line. And they, they all want to be almighty gods and do whatever they want and get whatever they want. They're spoiled and they're sometimes unrealistic in their expectations of us. They expect us to have infinite fucking money and infinite time and infinite patience, and we don't have that, right? Most people don't go bother Trump, damn it. So I go, ooh, savage. So if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe. And it just felt really good admitting to you guys that that stupid fucking word of God spousing and the idea of a mystical marriage, it just doesn't work out. If you had enough money to go live on a fucking private island and only spend time with your god, maybe it would work out for you. But if you have to interact with humans at all, ever, it's usually why it's not going to work out. And your feelings change as you go through the years. You just see how that's impractical and it doesn't really work in the real world. It looks great on paper, as is often said, but it just it doesn't work in the real world. And people that have said that they've they've stayed, maybe some people do stay, but if you're staying through years of being unhappy, please don't. Please get yourself out. You don't have to. There's no reward, you know? There's no, as far as I know, any deity I've ever talked to, there's no special reward at the end of your days for, oh, you stayed in this horrible, loveless relationship with this god because you started it. There's no special reward for that. There's no cookie. You're not better or more thought of for staying when you wish you could both get out. They're happier. I'm happier. There's no there's no feeling of competition coming in. People will still come up to me and be shitty, but it's like, I don't care. You can't take something from me that doesn't exist. So, if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you later. Bye-bye.